Hi everyone, my name is Francis Arthur A. Bueno, and today I'll do my science VBA activity about weather instruments used to measure different weather components. So first we'll be making an improvised wind vane. So the materials we need are, are a straw, some paper, a compass, one push pin, a pencil, some scissors, and finally, some, a ruler. So let's start. So the first step is to draw a triangle on a piece of paper. So we've already done that. And the second step is to draw a to draw a circle using a compass. So now we're here at the car parking lot. So we're going to figure out which the direction the wind is going. It's west. Oh god, it's going back to my space. No, it's going to the northeast. Northwest? No, no. So, so, so the wind direction in the car parking lot is that the arrow mostly points west. So the direction of the wind in here is that it's west. So what's a wind vane? So wind vane is weather instrument used to used to find out wind direction. What happened back at the parking lot was that when we were finding out the wind direction, it's it first went west, and after a minute or so, it directly changed direction and went to east. Then the wind slowed down after that for a few seconds and came back. So now we know that wind is most likely to change directions after a few minutes. So the wind direction mostly went west. Hi, I'm back to do our second activity of the weather instruments used to measure different weather components. So the weather instruments we'll be making today is the improvised rain gauge. So the materials we need are a plastic bottle, a pair of scissors, a 15 centimeter ruler, transparent tape, and some clay. So let's start. The first step is to, to cut this portion of the bottle. So in case you don't really in case you're not really good at cutting, you could use a marker 
over or just follow the line here. So the purpose of the funnel is to put inside this portion of the bottle so that the water could go directly into the bottle. The second step is to add Play-Doh at the bottom to fill the gaps here so that we can make sure that there is that we won't have trouble measuring the rain. So the third step is to add the tape Add the tape so that you can stick the ruler outside the bottle. So now you have to put the zero centimeter of the ruler leveled up with the clay. The fourth step is that you have to put the funnel on top of the bottle. So now we'll, we're going to have to wait until it rains so that we can put the rain gauge outside and measure the rain every day. Bye for now!